208 South Magnolia Avenue in downtown Ocala, right next to the Marion Theater. So call today and set up your appointment at Hello Gorgeous Salon at 351-5358. That's 351-5358. And don't forget, we also do men and children's cuts too. 351-5358. Hello Gorgeous. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA, The Source, every night from 2 to 6 a.m., and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us, 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara, and me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment right here on WOCA, The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, truck. we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include below charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. All right, 10 minutes, at, uh, 10 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. It's Tuesday, bro. Yeah. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. There was, there was a uh, story I, I wanted to tell you about. At, uh, hmm. There was a, a farmer, a farmer out in the state of Washington uh, who also is, a, is with the Humane Society out there, and he uh, paid for tw- 23 dogs uh, from South Korea that were intended to be butchered and, and sold as meat uh-huh. because in South Korea dogs are meat. Right, exactly. <laughs> Did you hear about the story? No, I haven't heard the story but I know the custom over there. A dozen dogs originally destined for dinner tables in South Korea arrived in the Washington area to be adopted as pets. Oh my gosh. They were the first of a total of 23 dogs being imported into the United States this week as part of a campaign to combat the eating of dog meat in East Asia. Oh, gee, that's kind of strange because that's their custom over there. It, 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 is, it is hard to believe that, I mean, it would make any... It, it makes yeah. a difference for those 23 dogs. It's, it's like the starfish story, you know? Yeah. The, the kid walking down the, 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 the edge of the beach and saying, oh, I'm throwing the starfish in to save them. Well, you can't yeah. save them all, I know, but I can save this one and that one. So, yeah, right. the 23 dogs, they were saved and... I'm with you. I don't want to see anybody eat dogs. No. But, but what, what if the people of India said, let's let's go buy some cows from the United States so we can combat the eating of cows? Yeah, they, exactly. They, they don't eat cat and beef, right? Right, exactly. So what if they, I mean, seriously, what if they got together? So let's, let's just buy one, 20, uh-huh. 20 or 30 cows. Right, <laughs> we, exactly. We, it wouldn't stop us. No. McDonald's no. wouldn't close. No. <laughs> Is and it? and and, and uh, they eat horses in France. So I mean, you know, is, Ooh, is, is that the next is that right? step? Yeah, because when TJ remind was over me of that there, when I go there. Yeah, when TJ was over there, that was on the menu. What's it, what's it called in French? Horse meat. What's it called? Uh, I don't know. Well, I gotta know. <laughs> I know. We'll have to look it up. But he, he tried it. He said it's really good. <laughs> you see, I I didn't even want to eat the catfish that you guys caught the other day. Yeah. Not the, not that. I mean, I've had catfish. I've had catfish at Chinese uh-huh. restaurants. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't see it from start to finish, though, when you go to a restaurant. You, you see don't. You don't see the up. catfish swimming in the bucket and then and then seeing it in the, on the plate afterwards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and everything in between. Uh, but isn't that something? They brought all those dogs over here so they could have them all adopted out to, to save some of them. That's wonderful. Well, one guy did. Uh, the farmer who acknowledged the personal fondness for dogs, which, of course, agreed to give up the dogs and accept an offer of compensation and grow blueberries instead. Oh, he's giving up the dogs. Well, he's yeah, he said he's going to let people raise them and, uh-huh. and you know, nice. have them as pets. Good. Uh, HSI, Human Society International Director of Companion Animals, Kelly O'Meara, told the American Free Press 
that as the dogs settled into their kennels yesterday at the Animal Welfare League of Alexandria, Virginia. Wow. Well, maybe they mean Washington D.C. Maybe I had maybe I had it wrong. Maybe they mean Washington D.C. I don't know. Gosh. Um, but the the. Uh, they were settling in, I guess. HSI has been working with local groups in China, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam to raise public awareness of the dog meat trade. Uh-huh. Gosh, isn't that something? But South Korea is unusual because it actually farms dogs to supply demand. Uh-huh. Every year, between 1.2 1 1. million and 2 million dogs are eaten in South uh, Korea. Kind of like w what we do with chickens, then. They do the same thing with dogs, and we do it with all those chickens. We do it with chickens, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> never thought of that. Hot dogs. We have hot dogs. Yeah. Uh, Omira said it was the first time that dogs from South Korea intended for human consumption had been rescued and brought into the United States, where a brisk demand for adopted dogs and cats is met by a thriving network of animal rescue groups and shelters. A demand? We have so many extra dogs that need to be adopted. Yeah, especially here in our shelters. All, all 23 South Korean dogs, the second batch is due to arrive Tuesday. Today, I guess. Will undergo veterinarian checks in Alexandria before being distributed among five other shelters in the mid-Atlantic states for adoption. It must be Washington, D.C. when they said Washington based. Yeah, oh my gosh. But no, if they want dogs to adopt, we've got plenty here in the Humane Society shelter. Yeah. Marion County Animal Shelter. Gosh, isn't that weird? They're not going to adopt know, their own a, first. I mean, I like the fact that they save the dogs, but at the yeah. same time, I mean, is he really, is he really accomplishing his mission? Is is it really making a statement to people? I mean, if you eat, if it's no big deal to you, yeah, I don't know. Right? Well, isn't that know. something? Well, good for him. He he wanted a cause and he found it and he's passionate about it. So. He should move I forward. I guess you, with yeah, it. good point. Good point. Let, he's His got cost. freedom to do what he wants to do. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, Larry and Robin, it's Mark. I just, uh, if it doesn't make sense, there might be a reason behind it. I don't know this to be a fact, but could you imagine maybe the cattle industry from the United States would be behind supporting this guy? And actually, uh, you've mentioned a couple times now a connection possibly to Washington, D.C. area. Some of these uh, lobbyist groups, uh, you know, come across large chunks of money and they, you know, there was a story in Ceylon, Sri Lanka, where the U.S. government had given, which is that little tiny island right off the off the tip of India, had given every farmer there, um, I think, one cow and some some other compensation. And and a friend of mine at work was reading that one day and said, "Well, well, wasn't that really nice?" And I said, "Yeah, but do you know what's there? You know, it's a there's a maritime prepositioning force there for for the United States military. It's a huge civilian." Uh, crossroads for our civilian um, ships to supply our, our so you forces. Are you saying you think this guy is somehow in cahoots with the government? I think this is just an individual, private citizen who did yeah, this. Yeah, I think well, so that, too. Well, that's how, that's how it. Right. That's what I'm. What I'm trying to trying to do is get Americans to kind of think. In other words, I don't know that to be a fact, but if you follow the money back, it could be it could be the cattle industry. You know, Japan <laughs> gets a lot of their a lot of their beef from the United States, so. You know, it seems it seems kind of odd on the surface, or maybe it seems like Robin's saying. I agree. There's many dogs here uh, every day that, that yeah, need, uh, yeah, rest, could be. Yeah, you know? so, I don't know, yeah, Mark. So All right, whatever. that's an interesting yeah. thought. I, right. I appreciate I appreciate the uh, call, though. Uh, good morning. You're on the air. What do you think? Oh, um, I think that there's a there's a big movement in China and Korea, and that to stop the dog meat trade. Um, you know, I signed a couple of petitions for it. They pay, they're uh, trying to collect money to put billboards up and try to change that part of their history. I, I thought uh, China was into dogs, cat meat. I thought, I thought yeah. they were more into cats. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but we do have a lot of dogs here. You know, are the dogs coming to Marion County? I didn't catch the whole story. It said Mid Atlantic. I guess not. I mean, yeah. you, you can get one probably but if you know, want it. There's movements all over the world to bring less fortunate animals to the United States. They have uh, on the islands and the Caribbean, uh, where when you go on a uh, on a trip, you fly in. They they like to sign you up to transport a uh, uh, homeless dog back to the United States. Oh, really? <laughs> and, and yeah, you become their transport. It's funny. It's train. funny that the article you, you meet up with the person that's got adopted. So that movement's been around, you know, all over the country, the right? world for years. But it is sad though because uh, a couple years ago, I 
I had to do research and to find out how many animals we put down in Marion County at baseline. And some of these are sick animals too. We do. Hey, you know, hey, that's a good point. We we kill animals. We kill dogs too. We just don't eat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the difference? If you're going to kill them and eat them, or just kill them. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of dogs. You know what's funny is they, the picture they showed on, on in the in the in, on the news piece. The picture they showed of the dog was a chow. Oh, well, I mean, this, so this is chow. Yeah, and I researched his history. Uh -huh. and he was bred to pull carts for his fur and his meat. Oh, he was bred. And okay. chow means knickknack. Oh, chow means knick knack. Yeah, but it also is Purina dog word. Chow. Yeah, Purina yeah. dog chow. Purina chow dog. Right. Or chow mein. Chow mein. Yes, chow go. mein. Oh, no. <laughs> I love chow mein. Ooh. My chow mein is chicken, though. <laughs> yes, it is. We don't have any, yes, we don't have any fondness have. for chickens. <laughs> so here's my theory. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. My theory is that we have really love cute things, which is why a frog is cuter than a roach. Yeah. So is. even though a frog may be yucky to some people, it's cuter than the roach. So if there's a frog on the garage floor, you don't want to back the car out for fear that you're going to squish it. That's right. If exactly. a bunny rabbit ever jumped under your car, forget it. You're going to be in there all day trying to get that <laughs> bunny rabbit out. You don't want to back out. That's right. But if a roach crawls under your car <laughs> and you get in to back it out, you don't give it a second thought. No. You just back up over that thing. <laughs> get on your way. Come home later on, sweep it up. No big deal. That's right. <laughs> All right. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. A Republican-controlled Congress starts work today. There are still rumblings in the conservative wing of the party about trying to replace John Boehner as Speaker. Fox's Peter Ducey in Washington. A massive manhunt underway after cops are shot in New York City. Two suspects robbed a grocery store. Then plainclothes police officers responded and spotted these two suspects at a Chinese restaurant nearby. Well, one of the suspects opened fire. Police fired back. Both of the officers were hit. Then minutes later, the suspects carjacked a white Camaro nearby and crashed that Camaro. Robert Moses with Fox's WNYW outside the hospital where the officers are expected to recover. And SpaceX at the last minute calling off its flight to the International Space Station the soonest the unmanned rocket can try again is Friday. Fox News, we report, you decide. news on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts and it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi That's foxnews, the number two go.mobi. Some people People would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never try are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring.